So today we're going to be doing a unit review on Beast Gohan. This card needs no introduction. This card comes out during the ninth year anniversary uh, as a part two uh, banner as a red coin LR, obviously, alongside the LR Gammas. That is the Carnival LR. Um, this card is one of the strongest cards to ever release in Dogon, uh, just on release. He's just, he's him, easily. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about Beast. Beast Gohan, um, how does he perform in today's meta? Great. You can still use him across the entire game he is very effective he does get the job done he leads one of the strongest categories in the game that being superheroes i would argue that his 200 percent leader skill is i will argue it's pretty good i would say it's good to pretty i feel like it's a good leader skill it's a good leader skill i would say so bond and master and disciple um compared to miraculous awakening okay no let's let's just continue on all right <laughs> anyways so uh his leader skill is uh, superheroes bond and master and disciple or Miraculous Awakening 3 key and 170% across the board. Need 30% of the stats is two in Trusted Will or Movie Heroes. I would argue he has a good to very good leader skill. And his uh, super attack, that being the Sky Piercing Demon Flash, is a fire name. 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn. And his 18 key, that being the Lightning Blast Wave. He greatly stacks attack and gains 30% defense for four turns. I believe that's 30% defense, right? That's 30%. That is 30%. Nice. He gets multiple. He's a, he's a, a multi-turn defensive buff for... It's, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. <laughs> and his 18 key super... Well, 18 key super, excuse me. His unit super attack, that being the Master and Disciple Special Beam Cannon. He greatly stacks attack and gains 30% defense for four turns. And uh, what changes uh, between his 18 key to his unit super is that he's giving uh, allies a crit chance for one turn, and he's disabling enemy action once within a turn, which this, of course, is a useful ability to have on him. He Doesn't he already give crit chance support in his passive? I'm pretty certain he does. I don't exactly remember. I remember he gives key, but I'm pretty certain he already gives crit chance support. So yeah, this is the only thing that really changes compar comparably to his uh, 18 key super to his unit super. So pretty much still good, right? And it could be active if you have a Piccolo attacking in the same turn. So his passive, that being Unrestrained Beast, he activates the interest animation upon the character's entry once only. And he gets 8 key and a 40% chance to crit with 40% damage reduction for 5 turns from character's entry turn. So of course, very strong. And he gets 3 key and 250% attack and defense and guard at the start of turn so just great he gets 50 percent attack when attacking and if key is 24 he gets additional 20 percent uh chance to crit as well as 80 percent defense when receiving an attack and if key is 24 he gets 20 percent damage reduction so within this same breath this card it gets what's that he gets a 20 percent chance to crit with 20 percent damage reduction as well as a 50 percent attack and 80 percent defense it is not hard to get this guy to 24 key which is something i really got to note within this card being able to get these buffs now with that being said this card also gets keeper keys are obtained for whatever reason you're not able to get this card to 24 key guess what he gets keeper keys are obtained which is obviously very helpful and he launches a guarantee super and if no yeah that's when he takes an attack within the same turn of course yeah he launches a guarantee super and he gives all allies three key yeah that is why i remember he has this and of course self-excluded uh and uh, he also gets an additional attack and crit chance plus 20 percent within the same turn and one key up to five each attack receives so that's pretty much just five attacks he just has to take for that key and he builds up additional attack and what's that a 20 percent chance to crit within the same turn okay so he's building a crit chance and attack within the same turn so i mean he's just going to build it up as with that many, as many attacks as he's going to be taking and he gets an additional 20 percent chance to crit this guy just has so much crit chance and damage reduction and, and his kid yeah, he gets additional 20% chance to crit and 20% damage reduction. He gives all allies two key. Starting from the turn, which is characters, next attacking turn. After the character receives five more attacks in battle. No, when he attacks five attacks in battle. Excuse me, I am tweaking today. And he receives eight attacks in battle. So he has to receive eight attacks or attack five times to get a 20% chance to crit with 20% damage reduction. Give all allies two key. So holy hell there is a couple things about this card so this card's a wall essentially a wall right so your goal with this card is to touch 24 key and with that being said you want to touch 24 key you want to take attacks and you also want to attack either five or more times in battle or take your eight or more attacks in battle so 40% uh, chance to crit and 40% damage reduction right over here. So we're at 40%. Uh, what else? He gets additional 20% chance to crit and 20% damage reduction right over here. 
Nice, so we're up to 60% chance to crit and a 60% damage reduction. Uh, and what else? Of course, he has Keeper Keys are obtained. He also gives all allies three key, which is obviously nice, and he guarantees super when he receives an attack. So we're still at 60% damage reduction with a 60% chance to crit. As well as, what else? Um, yeah, he also gets that additional 20% chance to crit with each attack received. So that's granted, that's off the buildup. And he gets up to an additional 20% damage reduction and 20% chance to crit. So, 80% um, damage reduction with an 80% chance to crit. So, this card can almost do pretty much guaranteed uh, crits. With 80% damage reduction. Granted, he does get those 5 more attacks off in battle or if he takes those 8 or more hits. So, um, this card is a uh, god, right? Um, at a low point, is he going to be at 60% damage reduction with guard? That's still good. Granted, this card, um, this this card's uh, capabilities. This card is very good. Clearly, we all know about Beast Gone, right? Um, class. Even if you're new to Dokkan, you know how powerful this card is. This card easily res resides within the top three. Easily, still one of the strongest cards in the game. Absolutely. And this is what takes him over the top is the fact that he can protect the team with his active skill. And of course, his active skill that being Gohan's confidence. He gets 24 key and 158% defense. Very strong and directs. Uh, enemy attacks towards his character and attacks become guaranteed crits for one turn. So he gets guaranteed crits. He gets a little attack aggro ability as well as uh, just full key and 158% defense. Strong. What makes it so powerful is the fact that he's protecting the rotation. And when you run two Beast Gohans, you just get two free chances to protect your rotation. Let's say a boss is uh, supering you in an unfavorable spot. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Let's pop Beast Gohans uh, active skill. It saves you. Like, I'm, I'm beating a dead horse. Everybody knows how great... This card, this, this card has almost like just little to no weaknesses. There's little to no weaknesses, a big emphasis on that. This card is great. Greatness personified. Uh, can be activated starting from the next turn after this character receives the attack once only. So a very easy activation condition uh, with a very strong active skill, very strong passive, um, very good super attack effects, great leader skills. Um, he's just, he's good. Really good. What a great link set. All in the family, Saiyan Warrior Race, End Fighter, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. So Shocking Speed and Prepare for Battle as well as All in the Family. Just like the big kickers for his uh, Link set. He's a good unit. In his categories, Hybrid Saiyans, Full Power, Movie Heroes, uh, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Bond of Master Disciple, Exploding Rage, Connected Hope, Miraculous Awakening, Entrusted Will, Battle of Fate, Bond of Parent Child, Earthbred Fighters, and Super Heroes. And of course, look at this guy's defensive stat rainbow. I mean, come on now. A shade below 15k, he's just him. And almost at 21,000 attack, he's him. Pretty much. Um, he's gone. Um, wall, um, he's a wall. Crit chance all over the place. Guarantee super built in. Um, multi-turn defensive stacking. Um, of course, for only four turns. Greatly stacking attack so he can hit much harder. I did not mean to click on that unit super. I did not mean to click on that. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. Yeah, he's him. We all know how strong he is. That's, that, that's all. The 200% of his skills that he's on, he's on uh, 10. He's on 10. Yeah. Um, yeah, Beast is him. For sure. And his best second partner is uh, Beastless. This guy. But, I mean, this guy would be... It's not a bad option. Um. Hmm. Outside of him, who else could you run? You also have Tech Ultimate Gone right there, too. Yeah. And, oh my god, my Chrome is freezing. Okay. It's a great thing that this video is pretty much done. Um, I'm going to close out the video here because my Chrome is acting a fool. Beast Gohan. Go. Go. Even though he's been uh, replaced as uh, number one, of course. Um, he's greatness personified. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Join the 24 7 Discord server. A link is uh, uh, down below in the description if you guys are today. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And peace.